Hi guys, Jonathan here. I got this massive box in the mail yesterday and I got my gamer bag with me today. Now, the reason why I brought my bag out is that what's inside that box might contain my next set of gamers and also some extra clubs that I might put into my bag here. So shall we go ahead and unbox this massive box? Let's see what's inside then, shall we? Right, guys, I got the box here, got the scissors ready. Let's go ahead and do the unboxing then, shall we? This is a big girl here. Ready to see some beauties. Oh boy. Right, bear with, this might take a while to unwrap. Whew, that was a lot of packaging in that box. But then I guess it would need a lot of packaging. Oh wow. These look gorgeous. Check these out. I am going to give you guys a close-up in just a second. So what have we got here? We've got a set of Nike VR Pro blades from 3 through Pitching Wedge and a Mizuno MP4 3 iron and 4 iron bladed long irons. I better be sharp to use those things because they're not going to be forgiving, are they? Finally got the tape and the packaging off here, but now that I've got to have a look at the irons, wow. Wow, these Nike VR Pro blade irons look in gorgeous condition. These look lovely. So good, so nice, so lovely. Also, I do like the look of this Mizuno MP4 3 iron and 4 iron, and it's in pretty good condition as well, actually. Shall we have a closer look then, shall we? Right, these are the irons, fresh out of the box. Nike VR Pro blades, from 3 through Pitching Wedge. I'll show a few more um, close-ups later on. And they have got, well, a bit upside down, but um, they are dynamic gold S300 shafts and original Nike grips in them. Right, so those are the Nike irons. These here are the Mizuno MP4 blades from three and four iron here. And they've got, one's got a KBS tour shaft in them. One's got a dynamic gold S300 shaft in them. And then I think these are the stock grips that came with the Mizuno irons. 
Here's a closer look at these Nike VR Pro blade irons. Check out the condition that these are in. There's not much bag chatter to talk about on the back of these clubs, if I'm very honest. So you would be hard pressed to find a set in as good a condition as these are in. Right, that's the six iron. Gotta say these are in pretty these are in pretty good nick. I won't lie. Right. Here's a look at the eight iron here. I mean okay, this set isn't exactly in mint condition, but they haven't been used a lot. There are a few scratches here. But I mean, it just shows that these, this set has been used a little bit. I mean, I am going to use this set anyway. All right, that's the eight iron. Here is the pitching wedge. I mean, yeah, a little bit of scratches on the surface here, but at least no heavy wear marks, which is a good sign. Yeah, a little bit of surface scratches. It's okay. I'm going to use a set anyway. Right. And then here we have the seven iron. It's really not in that bad a condition. At least it's not like heavily nicked up or chattered up these irons. So I won't complain too much about the condition. These have been lightly used, shall we say. Right, the five iron here. I mean, yeah, a little bit of chatter and scratches on the face. A little bit of chatter and scratches, I guess that's fine. Yeah, it looks good to me, actually. And then here is the butter knife, the three iron. Lovely, looks gorgeous. Yeah, this has been well kept, especially the longer irons in this set. Gorgeous, looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Here are the shafts, Dynamic Gold S300 shafts. As you can see here, and for the most part, original Nike grips. Right, so those are the Nike irons. Now, going on to the Mizuno MP4 3 and 4 iron here. You can call me mad, you can call me mad as a brush, a bit crazy. But there's a very good reason why I got the 3 and 4 iron in the blade here. If you see in my combo set, I've got the MP64 4 iron in here, which is a very shallow cavity and it is very similar to a blade. The reason why I decided to try go for a blade here is that I've actually bent this 4 iron one degree weak, so it actually plays and looks like a blade, but it's just a little bit bigger and a bit more forgiving. I want to actually try the blade in the 3 and 4 iron here, see if I can see if I can actually control the ball a bit better because I'll tell you something I actually struggle with hybrids and I don't get along with driving irons the best solution I have found for a long-range club 
is actually a seven wood, which is in the bag right here. Yes, a seven wood. Um, if anything, I get along with long irons better than I do with hybrids or driving irons. So that is why I want to actually try the MP4 blade in the three and four iron. Obviously, I'll get the right shafts in them to match with the rest of my set here so that they will blend in a bit easier to my gamer set. So I'll get them reshafted and let's see how that goes then. Right, so let me tell you a little bit of a story of how I actually got these um, VR Pro blade irons or how I got to that, got to where I am now with these. So I was actually gaming the Mizuno MP4 blades earlier on. In fact, I've got them in my bag right now, in my gamer set. I tried a set of Nike VR Pro blades from my mates. Actually, some of my mates do have um, a set each of the Nike VR Pro blades. I tried them. I had two initial impressions. One, they look perfect. They look gorgeous down by the ball. They're so irresistible that I just want to hit them. The second, the second idea that sprung to my head was that, oh wow, these are so, so soft. They are as soft as Mizuno MP blades. I couldn't believe it. These Nike irons, yes, they are as soft as Mizuno MP blades. These are endo forged these Nike blades. So that would explain why they feel so gorgeous and so soft. I tried one of my mates' set of irons, felt really good. Tried another friend's set, felt really, really good as well. Tried a third friend's um, set of tailor-made P7 TW irons actually, which I found are very similar to these. In fact, I could barely even tell a difference. So after trying my friend's set of P7TWs and after trying the VR Pro Blades, I couldn't resist. I had to get a set. So here I am with a set of Nike VR Pro Blades from 3 through Pitching Wedge. I'm going to give them a test and see how they go. They might kick my Mizuno MP4 set of blades out of the bag and these VR Pro blades, I won't be surprised if they are my gamer set in the future. Right, there you have it guys. I've got plenty of new toys today. A set of Nike VR Pro blades from 3 through Pitching Wedge and the Mizuno MP4 blades in 3 and 4 iron that came together in the same box. I'm pretty keen to try out both options actually, not just the Mizuno MP4 blades, pure blades from 3 through Pitching Wedge this time, but also the Nike VR Pro blades, also in 3 through Pitching Wedge. I'm going to reshaft the Nike irons with my own set of shafts, the Project XLZ 5.5 shafts, those that fit me right now. So I will try out both options and see how it goes along. Now, thanks for watching today's video. If you like this video of me sharing my toys, what's in the bag, and some new toys as well, these ones, give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.